coming to you live from Southern California. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set, it's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And yeah, we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So, almost ready to get underway. Clayton Kershaw getting the start. Singy always a treat when we get to watch him work. Very crafty guy out there on the hill. A stellar career ERA in the low twos. Very tough to get to. Just when you think you've got him figured out, he flips the script. We'll see how the hitters are able to adapt to him today. Okay, all set to go. Now up for St. Louis, Tommy Edmond. Why the kick the pitch? And first offering is fouled off. First pitch, 110. Kershaw fires. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's one away. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. One guy swinging a hot bat recently. Brendan Donovan. He's been a solid force for his team right now. Kind of a fire starter when you consider an on-base percentage over 400 over the last 10 games. That's solid, consistent work. He's making things happen for this offense right now. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Brendan Donovan. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. And that's in there for strike one. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. A one down. Now one and one. And Boog, hitters can be a little less aggressive on hard stuff in early in the season just because of how cold it is and, and not wanting to get a stinger. Now you think, oh, it's just a jam, it's shot, it's a broken bat, but sometimes guys get deep thumb bruises that can linger for a while. So, you know, you just want to avoid that if you can, but at the end of an at-bat, you're just trying to battle no matter what. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there, and that's a result of a good job of changing speeds. Off-speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mix it up to speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball, but clearly that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either.
Here's Paul Goldschmidt. And that one just oh, misses. A ball and no strikes. Fought off foul. And now the lefty. Way inside gets out of the way. How much did your dress change when it would get cold or when it would be cold early or late in the season? Well, early in the season, Boog, I'm taking a top coat, you know, on the road and uh, trying to look cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're talking about. No, I'm talking oh, about your uniform. Player. When you played back, oh, you know, way oh, back okay. in the day. Oh, all right. I thought you want to know about my travel gear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you go with some long sleeves early on, and sometimes it can be a little uncomfortable, a little cumbersome, but you get used to it. But it's great when you can come out there and let the guns just hang out. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. No score just getting started, top of the first. down the line could be extra bases and that's going to get into the corner takes the turn he's digging for second and he'll pull in there with a stand-up double he needed out one it's been a tough stretch at the plate lately i'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball that's off that pitch was off the tough to get the barrel to anything in there man on second two down Strike to Arenado. Oh. And a good eye there. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Hey. That one in for a strike, two and two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Here's a 2-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two outs. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Gets a piece and stays alive. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. The pitch. High in the air, out to right. Betts makes the play, and it's out number three. The cards leave one, and now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. Back after this on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And towing the slab, the guy with the big yacker, the yellow hammer. Uncle Charlie, Adam Wainwright. What should we keep an eye on here? He's been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. First pitch swing in, went up there with a plan to be aggressive. We often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. David Peralta at the plate. Contreras hauls it in, and there's one away. 
better. Time now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And we check out the guy in the seventh spot, J.D. Martinez. Well, he's an important part of this lineup for sure. I mean, there's no doubt about it, Boog. It's somebody that they try to feed off of. He does a lot of things, you know, very well up there at the plate. He's got a presence about him, and, you know, he's a guy that you really kind of like to watch swing the bat. Freddie Freeman now in the box comes up empty with a swing there. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Chris Adam Wainwright for all the accolades multiple all star games multiple gold gloves. He may have the title as one of the best pitchers to never win a Cy Young award. Then of course there's that curveball. Now Contreras has some trouble with it. Tag out at second. It's a double play. And just like that, the inning is over. An inning in the books. No score here on the show. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. Here's the catcher, Wilson Contreras. Here comes a pitch. Nope, that's a ball. And here it comes. In the air, left side. Martinez puts the squeeze on that one. One away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder that coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Tyler O'Neill nope. in the box now as he leaves that one up high. One down, base is empty. Whoa. And another ball. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. No score here in the second. The 2-2 two -two now. In the air out to center. Two down. Batting seven. The right fielder. Number now at the plate, Lars Newtbar. Hitless of the first two games of the series. He's 0 for 8. That one's in there, 0-1. Oh, Man, that one. pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. 0-1 oh, now. That clips the corner. A rope into right. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he'll make it safely. That's a double. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Next to hit, Alec Burleson. There's the strike. And a pitch. There's a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. 
Next pitch has popped up. Kershaw puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. So one left for the Cardinals. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here at Dodger Stadium, here's the veteran outfielder, Mookie Betts. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And a big swing and a miss. Righty to the plate. Out to short. Over to Goldie. A great play deep in the hole. Singy, it was tough to tell in live action if the ball actually beat him, and it looks like they want some time to review it. Yeah, we'll get another look uh, up here, too. And, you know, they called him out on the field, but it just might be worth the challenge. And they'll have to see clear evidence the other way to overturn well they are going to challenge the call and so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York ladies and gentlemen the Here's a final like look at it the they called him play. out and I'm thinking it's going to stay that way I think you're right and it was worthy of another look no doubt but after seeing these replays I, I just think they're going to stay with the original call just not seeing enough to overturn it Here's the decision now, and he is out. Now here is Trace Thompson. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh, and, one. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Really nice job, a two-strike hitting in that at bat. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. The batter now will be Will Smith. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Singy, here's an Adam Wainwright nugget. He's faced every team in the majors except the St. Louis Cardinals. Swing and a miss. And a count even at one. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Righty delivers. Grounder might be two. Edmund over to second for one. Their second double play already. This one ends the second inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We played two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. This is Dylan Carlson. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Carlson bats right, throws left. Hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. Next offering misses. It's two and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s now fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Had very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Edmund hey. batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. A breaking ball on the inside part of the plate requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. And it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Donovan, the base runner at first with one out. That ball misses one. the zone. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Hey. And a curve drops in for a strike. Swings and misses, struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Here's Nolan Arenado. In there, and it's 0-1. Nolan Arenado, for all of the success he's had at the plate and all the all-star appearances, See, he's won the gold glove every year that he has been in the league. He's going to go down as one of, if not the greatest defensive third baseman of all time. Next pitch, not close, up high. Well, he's one of those players, if you're on the opposing team, you essentially say, don't hit it to third. Don't even try to bunt it to third because you're going to be out. He is that prolific as a third baseman. And now two and two. Next pitch okay. misses, and the count's full. And he deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. Cards on the board first with this solo blast. It's now a 1-0 ball game. This is Dodgers baseball on the show, L.A. Set for the bottom of the third, and at the plate for the Dodgers, J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez. The pitch. Martinez, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. The 0 2. Ball. One ball, two strikes. And that one is lifted in the air. Newt Bar hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Batting it. Chris Taylor now. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And a swing and a miss. In the dirt. 
Contreras on to first. Oh. Out on the drop third strike. Two Not gone. Enough. Well, when you swing through that one breaking ball that puts you up against the ropes with two strikes, you think he's either going to double up or try to blow a fastball by you with the next pitch. And right there, he snapped off another curve. And it was the same result as the pitch before. Max Muncy now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Two for six so far in the series. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And the righty deals. In the dirt. On to first. Got him. Oh. Inning over on the strikeout. Back here in L.A. As we go to the top of the fourth. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Kershaw back to work. That's that one ball. missed. a strike now two balls and a strike ground ball Freddie Freeman he steps on the He's bag out. and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man now that the designated hitter Tyler here's Tyler O'Neill Smash to the left side. Rojas with the throw to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Lars Newtbar. Digging in, Lars Newtbar doubled his first time up. In there for strike one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. The wind of the pitch. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And down in order go the Cardinals. But they're on top, one nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine, Miguel Rojas at the plate. Not shortstop. Miguel Rojas. And the pitch. That one hit to right. Newt Bar makes the grab one away. The center fielder, number six. And here is David Peralta. He popped out his first time. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Peralta leads off first with one away. with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here the 0 2 
To the right side. Over to Edmund. Out. Return throw to first. Yeah. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Alec Burleson. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses. One and two to count. One ball, two strikes. The other way. Throw oh, save. And that was close. And up next for St. Louis, Dylan Carlson. The switch hitter batting right. And that's in there for strike one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Missing oh, inside off. and one and one. That one hooked foul. Runner at first with no outs here. Now he steps off. Nothing doing. Absolutely frozen with the backdoor slider for strike three. Tremendous job of bringing that ball back over the plate. He gets just enough of it to get the call. And I'll tell you what, as a hitter, it starts out of the zone. It looks really far away. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just have to tip your cap to the pitcher. Edmund Aye. in the box again. Takes the strike. And he'll one. Line to left. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Now that second base. Brendan Donovan. So two down now. And here is Brendan Donovan. One for two. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. And he hits a ground ball right side to second. Rojas, third out, and that ends the frame. The cards leave one, but they lead it one to nothing. Just bounce to that. Everybody wanna come, I'm announcing it. I'm always gonna get it, I'm always gonna get it. Even if you And welcome back. And now, Mookie Betts. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's gonna take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Tap dances out of the way of that one. This one smoked out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. Trace Thompson steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And he's already singled in this game. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. And up to the plate is Will Smith. 
He's over one. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Nice job behind the plate there. Now the 01. On the ground is short, could be two. To second, there's one. And yet another twin killing. Their fourth of the All set for the top of the sixth. And now the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Kershaw back to work. That catches the outside corner. That's strike one. Goldie in his 12th season, 35 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. And fouled off. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. One and ball, you're tied up. Two strike. One, two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Here's Nolan Arenado. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Arenado measures six feet two inches, 215 pounds, and he's driven in double digit runs over his last 10 games. The 1 0. Ball Just two. missed. That pitch in for a strike, and it's two and one now. Kicks and fires. Missed inside with the curve. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Fouls one away and now 3 and 2. That's hard hit on the line. Martinez calls it in and there's two away. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. And that's through there for a strike. And that one almost got him. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing for the offense that time. 7 8 9 2 up in the home half of the inning. Back here at Dodge. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Ball one and a pitch inside. And a base hit on the line. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Taylor swings through it for strike one. He's 0 for 1.
Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Martinez on at first. Nobody out. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Max Muncy at the dish. 0 for 1 so far. And first offering is fouled off. One run game, one out, one on. The next offering misses. And that is ball one. up the middle feed to second that's wow. one inning ends on their fifth double play of the game one hit in the inning but no one left seventh inning coming up it's the Cardinals one and the Dodgers nothing welcome back we're in the seventh we have a new pitcher on the mound Yancy Almonte just trying to keep this one close here and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game O'Neill leading things off and takes a strike they must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early it was right down Main Street probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat at the belt and fires Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. That's a little bit low. One ball, two strikes. Next pitch is inside. The count now two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. Right-handed reliever stays alive. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Hard hit left side. Throw on to Freeman, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The right field. Lars Newtbar digs in now. Newtball. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Aye. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is foul back. Hey, doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power of fastball, but he's working a little differently here. Ball. The next pitch misses. It's a ball and One two ball, strikes. Two strikes. Out number two. Up next for the Cardinals. The left fielder. Here's the left Alex. fielder, Alec Burleson. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. That one drifts inside. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And it falls. Joey gets on base and keeps it going.
Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, and that is the inning. So one left for the Cardinals, but they still lead it one nothing. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Miguel Rojas. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. The why to kick the pitch. To third. Sends it across to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping. Pitch hitter coming on, James Outman. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Next offering is in for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The tying run at the plate. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them are on the edges of the strike zone. Man. As a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage. You know? He's there. He's got it. And that is the... Staying in the game on defense, James Outman. He'll be out center now after pinch hitting. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Number yeah, the first Count offering is not close. Oh, Ouch, that one drilled him. Throw on to Freeman. Oh. One up, one down. Catcher now coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Takes it in for the out. Now batting. The first base runner, Paul Goldschmidt. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Slider clips the zone. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two outs. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Up next for the so here's the cleanup hitter, the Nolan Arenado. First Nolan. offering, and it just misses. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Daniel Hudson will take over here, and this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. That one ripped, and now maybe extra bases. Goldspin makes the turn at second. Here comes Goldie around third. He'll score easily, and they lead by two. 
Back-to-back -back base hits. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Contreras, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's outside. Up and in, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. And the right hater deals. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Slice to right, and that's just foul. Runner at second, two down. looking that's a strikeout cards on the board with this double and it's two zip welcome back and now the right fielder Mookie Betts the pitch that misses off the outside edge. Bullpen activity starting up now. Ryan Helsley, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Line drive to short and caught! Now back, the designated Trace Thompson steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Swings through that one, 0-1. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. In the air, right side. Newt Bar makes the grab, two away. As good as he's seeing the now ball out of the pitcher's catcher. hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. On the ground to the left. Base hit, that was smoked through the infield. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Oh, Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really oh, excellent bat control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. J.D. Martinez stands in. They get the force. That ends the frame. So the Back here at Chavez Ravine. All set for the start of the inning. And now the D.H., Tyler O'Neill. The pitch. Hudson in his 13th season. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. And that one fouled off. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. 0-2 now. Got it by him for the play. Now, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base so I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base here's the 0-2 spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another Left-hand batter waits. Nope. That one ball. just misses. Next pitch has popped up. Taylor makes the catch for the out. And there's two down. Now batter. The left fielder, Alec Burleson. Alec Burleson now at the plate. Ah. 
There's a strike. And no. misses inside. inside. Check swing. He held up. Two Hold. and one. One strike. And here it comes. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he's got himself a triple. He was all over that one. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Here comes the 0-1. One ball, one strike. Burleson at third with two away. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him looking for the K. Throws him with a backdoor slider. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the ninth. Now it's the second baseman, Chris Taylor. Now, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Oh, and that liner got him. The throw is late, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. To the right side. To second, and he threw it away. And they won't get him, and he goes first to third on the error. A potential double play ball hits it first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. At first base, with him, he's got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base, and a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still, definitely an error, though. Here comes the manager out of the Cardinals dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Adam Wainwright will depart, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. New arm of the mound for the Cardinals, Ryan Helsley. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with a W. Back to the top of the lineup, and next for L.A., Miguel Rojas, known for his late-inning heroics. Fouled off. He was late. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. 0-2 oh now. Grounded to third, could be two. Arenado over to second. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killer. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. Outman at the plate now. That's ball one. The Dodgers going with a pinch hitter. Austin Barnes. Big spot for him here. Number 15. Up good. Barnes. That clips the corner. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. In the dirt. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Cardinals win the last two to take the three-game series. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good momentum. But at home, you also have a higher expectation to play well. So they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious St. Louis.